Perhaps the most notorious church in America is the Westboro Baptist Church. I first became aware of this group through their website GodHatesFags.com, but they gained wider notoriety through their picketing of funerals, most notably those of American servicemen. Their contention is that every soldier killed is as a result of God's condemnation of America's tolerant attitude towards homosexuals. Any disaster in recent years has been pointed to as God's will by the Westboro Baptist Church. His wrath incited by some sort of ungodly behaviour, usually homosexuality. This reasoning is used in the following excerpt from one of the church's more bizarre videos, this one on gun massacres. Columbine. Malvo. The Mall. Lane Bryant. Virginia Tech. Northern Illinois University. God sent the shooter. God sent the shooter. Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord hath not done it? God sent the shooter. To deny that is to deny the sovereignty of God. So, if there is an act of violence, either natural or man-made, taking place somewhere, it is God's punishment. With one notable exception. You have shot at Westboro Baptist Church and now God is shooting at you. So, some moron with a gun starts firing in a shopping mall. That's God's vengeance. Some moron with a gun fires at the side of Westboro Baptist Church. Suddenly, God has nothing to do with it. It is important to note here that I'm not claiming that the members of the Westboro Baptist Church are representative of Christians in general. They're not even representative of Baptists. They're representative of bigoted morons. The church has a little over 70 members, approximately 60 of whom are related to the pastor, Reverend Fred Phelps. This group is genuinely fringe. Even Fox News, cheerleaders extraordinaire for the religious right, hate the Westboro Baptist Church. The following clip is an excerpt from an interview, and I use the term loosely, of Shirley Phelps Roper by Fox News anchor Julie Banderas. Okay, let's talk about your God, because I don't know what planet you're from, but you say you thank God for IDs, you thank God for 9-11, you thank God for dead soldiers, thank God for exactly. AIDS. I thank God that you are not a leader of a real church. What you preach is hate, miss. What exactly. God tells you, you to do You don't get this. to call the word of God hatred, Oh, really? Missy. Who gives you're you the authority with to the preach? Wrong God also. Are you a preacher? That are you a minister? Word. Were that you is brought down judgment. from heaven to he preach said. your garbage? Oh, he really? left his word, and you call it the scriptures, the Bible. All right, then this let's nation talk scripture. Christian. You want to preach? Why don't you well, let's pray preach. the commandments let's of the Lord your God and turn preach. his wrath from you. What Bible are you reading? Let's go to the, the Bible. King let's James, go to scripture. Oh, really? Oh, wow, that's funny. Okay, Leviticus 19.18. What does it read? I'll tell you what it says. Okay, I'm so ahead. glad you brought that up. Uh -huh. It says, thou, it's Leviticus 19, verses 17. No, 18, it's 18. And, no, 17 is where Two you begin. 18, but I'm going to read you 18 and it after says, you're done. thou shall not suffer their sin upon them, but in any wise rebuke them. Really? That means you warn them that their sin has taken them to hell, and if you don't do that, you hate them. Okay, let heart. me tell you what it the says, rest of the Bible says. says thou shalt not it, take vengeance, them. nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, oh, I see. but thou well, shalt love thy neighbor we as well. You, you are the devil. If, we tell if you believe you in the Bible, the miss, is, you're going to hell. plainly set those words before your face. That that's what would you do if you had a son in the military? Would you damn him to hell as My well? Because you're going to join him there if you had a son. I have eight Sons. Oh really? And, and I have they died in Iraq, and serving none country, of them and would giving you the freedom of speech, ma'am. Would you join them in hell? Fight for a nation who has made God. What about all those entity? Iraqi soldiers who went to Iraq unwillingly? Many of them went there with no choice at all. What, what do you say about to that? Them? Oh, what, what do you say to that? You say that they, they deserve to rot in hell and not all the rest of their church. They're being cut off by the same raging okay. mad God that's cutting off the children of America. Mad God. Okay, you know what? The raging, Bible says the fear of the mad. Lord is hatred says of evil. Problems. Shaking with pride rain. and arrogance you have and the way of him. evil and perverted speech I hate. Perverted speech like yours. That's God your hates speech. Fat. If you don't tell you what are the preaching truth of God absolute is, if you don't tell... Actually, I don't think that the Fox News anchor did a great job as an interviewer here. She didn't listen to what Shirley Phelps Roper had to say and was more interested in winning a brawl, no matter how undignified it got, rather than exploring the opposing point of view. That said, I was cheering Julie Banderas all the way, because I, like most people, had already made up my mind about the Westboro Baptist Church. There was, however, one thing that the interviewee said which caught my attention. 
Listen to it again in case you missed it. Right. What Bible are you reading? Let's go to the, the Bible. King Let's go James, to Scripture. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That's funny. Version. Okay, Leviticus. The King James 1611 authorised version is what she was reading from. It shouldn't really be surprising that the Westboro Baptist Church would want to cling to such a traditional form of the Bible. But there is an irony here. King James I of England was homosexual. Now, some of you may be saying, oh, I didn't know King James was gay. What's your source? Well, truth be told, nobody knows for sure. But the balance of evidence seems to indicate that he was. Most historians consider it more likely that King James was gay rather than, say, Richard I about whom certain rumours still persist in the public consciousness. However, there is still a certain amount of doubt. That said, it would be interesting to look at one piece of evidence and wonder what the Westboro Baptist Church would make of it. The following is an excerpt from the Puritan Francis Osborne's memoir. The love the king showed was as amorously conveyed as if he had mistaken their sex and thought them ladies, which I have seen Somerset and Buckingham labour to resemble in the effeminateness of their dressing. Nor was his love, or whatever posterity will please to call it, carried on with a discretion sufficient to cover a less scandalous behaviour, for the king's kissing them after so lascivious a mode in public, and upon the theatre, as it were, of the world, prompted many to imagine some things done in the tiring house that exceed my expressions no less than they do my experience. So that is the James after which the Bible is named. I wonder if the Westboro Baptist Church will design a new sign once they find out. Perhaps not.